Discovery is already uh, straight up above the station, beginning its pass over the Russian segment. It will pass back behind the Russian segment, giving the crew a good view of the automated transfer vehicle that is docked back with the Zvezda service module. And then it will pass down below once again. The station flight control team still uh, maneuvering the cameras around the outside of the station looking for discovery. Sometimes it's a bit hard to uh, track the shuttle with all with how big this complex has gotten to uh, get us good views. of you from Discovery. Looking down on this uh, entire International Space Station complex, as you can see from this uh, graphic here, Discovery beginning to uh, pass over the Russian segment. Its distance now 675 feet. Here's Discovery's wings just disappearing behind the station's structure. Discovery taking a look at the International Space Station and Brazil as it passes 223 miles down below. As Discovery laps around the International Space Station for this final time, it's taking a look back at its own legacy as it helped build quite a bit of this International Space Station. It delivered several pieces of the truss structure back in 2000, 2006, also in 2009. It, of course, helped deliver some major pieces of the U.S. segment, including Harmony, which took place in 2007, the large Kibo laboratory in 2008, and also the permanent multi-purpose module, of course, during this mission, STS-133. So Discovery has a long and storied history, not the least of which is this orbiting complex that we have now. So Discovery can leave the International Space Station with a, a proud legacy.
Discovery continuing to loop back around toward the Russian segment. The crew getting a good view of the automated transfer vehicle. The shuttle now 725 feet away from the station. Its uh, rate is still 0.23 feet per second. We're still getting still sequential video from the shuttle. We haven't received a high data rate from it yet. Discovery now passing directly behind the Russian segment of the International Space Station. This distance 760 feet. If you look toward the uh, lower left hand side of the screen you can see the shuttle there just beginning to make an appearance in the cameras on the International Space Station. MKS Sud Moscow, Canal SG2, for Alexander Yurich, for the loading of the car. A spectacular view there of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The Soyuz TMA-20 right there at the top right-hand side. The Progress docked as well. And the automated transfer vehicle back there on Zvezda. The Space Shuttle Discovery there, 769 feet away from the orbiting complex.
the northeastern coast of South America drifting away from Shuttle Discovery and the space station. The two of them are 217 miles. Uh, now above the Atlantic Ocean, there is 777 feet between the two vehicles. Discovery beginning to pass underneath the Russian segment. Discovery flying about 628 feet away from the station now. Still uh, back behind and below the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Through 6.4, through you can depress. Discovery in the station approaching the northwestern edge of Africa. They'll be running parallel to the coast, looking down on the western Sahara and Morocco. Right about the time the Discovery passes directly underneath the station.
shuttle passing over Cape Verde now, just uh, heading toward the northwestern edge of Africa. Once again, Discovery's payload bay fairly empty at the end of this docked phase of STS-133. It took up several tons of supplies and equipment for the crew on board the space station. The permanent multi-purpose module now delivered. Express Logistics Carrier number 4 also installed. Discovery now has done its job for the International Space Station, finishing up this uh, victory lap around the orbiting complex. The crew uh, getting their last looks at the space station complex and the Expedition 26 crew uh, getting their final looks at Discovery as it flies underneath. The sands of the Sahara Desert passing.